In my previous video I have described simple steps how to mod your mechanical keyboard. Today I wanted to show you more advanced level of modding. Hello guys, it's Yev and today we will have the following parts. We will start with gathering materials and tools, then I will describe the mod process in general. Second part will be related to internal case modification. Then the most consume, time consuming part is switch lubricating. And at the end we will do stabilizers modification, reassembling back the keyboard and final sound test. I will be using today this K617 Fizz from Red Dragon as an example, because potentially this is a not a bad gaming mechanical keyboard, but right now as a stock it's far away from the perfect keyboard. Let's go. So part one, gathering materials. Obviously to do a advanced modification of your mechanical keyboard you need keyboard, right? You, can, you need um, keycap puller, switch puller, something as simple as what we have together with this keyboard today or something more advanced if you are doing it from time to time. You need a set of screwdrivers, scissors and other stuff and you know obviously the better the equipment the easier the process. You will need lubricant, you will need the electric grease, I have it here. You will need foam, painter and eight type and some other stuff I will show you during the video. First of all, let's record initial sound of this keyboard. I did recently review so you can check this video of just in general overview of this keyboard and sound test, but let's do it as a part of advanced modification. The modding process in general will look like we will remove all keycaps, we will remove all switches, we will disassemble the case and do all our other steps, modification of the case, modification of the stabilizers, switches, assembling back and one more bonus. But in general we need to start from removing all keycaps and removing all switches. Now let's unscrew this one, two, nine, a lot of screws and let's open the case. And while we are on this stage, let's remove stabilizers as well. And to remove stabilizers, you need to catch this leg from one side and pull it up. Next stage, let's open the case. So what, what are we doing today is um, we are applying AVA foam, any what you have or what you can order. We need just to cut it according to the size of the case. Also, I will apply rubbed rings. It will add additional stabilization effect. Okay, next mod is painter type mode and I already showed in the previous video you need just to apply several layers of painter type on the back side of the PCB. Trick and this is rubbed pads and usually I am applying them under stabilizers switches. So these pads they are repeating holes what you have on your PCB and I'm using them only for the stabilizers, only for the switches under stabilizers. Okay guys, next stage is the most time consuming stage. It's a lubrication of the switches, but also it's one of the most significantly, the most, you know, impactful part of the, any mechanical keyboard mods, because it really bring this rich sound to your keyboard. So first of all you need switch opener, you need to put the switch and press something like that. So we have switch housing, 
have steam spring and bottom part of switch housing with metal so what we are gonna to do first of all we can using this brush and our lubricant we need to add a little bit of lubricant on the rails from the left and right side on this legs which is basically switching on and off signal when you're pressing the keycap and internal part of the stem where is spring is coming into the stem something like that regarding the spring i'm gonna to use another approach so you need some plastic bag you need to put all springs inside you need just to add couple of drops of lubrication oil inside the bag around five drops and then when you will add all springs inside just to shake it and that's all also you can use this gatron switch opener for this type of switches this should look like something like that also please do not forget to add lubricant inside the bottom part of the housing around rails and around spring you need to assemble all of them back it's another one hour of work now let's assemble a couple of switches together our next stage is stabilizers mods so we need to clean them up we need to cut small part of it and we need to apply this holy mod to open this stabilizer you need just to swing this to 90 degree and that's all very easy so whole modification is about only this small piece we need to do two things regarding this item we need to cut these two legs and we need to put inside this bend eight type so you need to cut these two opposite legs which is outstanding from the two others so they are on a higher elevation so you need just to remove them so you should have at the end something like this and you can compare with original one second we need to take a very small piece of bent eight and put it inside this steam so you have a two holes on this side just put inside the bottom hole and catch from the other side final result should look like this from one side and another let's assemble first plastic part of the stabilizer and then we will do the metal part idea is the same as with mechanical switches you need to add lubricant on the side of the stabilizer steam of the stabilizer now take, take your metal bar and just add grease on it and insert inside stabilizer and click you need to apply one more thing and this is small piece of the eight band on a place under plastic part of the stabilizer should look like this and also you can add a little bit this grease and now we are ready to insert stabilizer back to the keyboard and this is a final result of the stabilizers now time to put everything back our lubricated switches and our keycaps let's go let's start inserting our switches and now the final sound test no words needed the simplest keyboard can sound as a keyboard of a budget around 100 150 bucks just with your hands and a little bit different materials 
I think it's worth it. What do you think, guys? If you're interested about more mods or more simple mods, check this video on my channel.